Hello, my name is Guinevere. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. This is my week three assignment on submix in Reaper. So what is a submix? A submix is a grouped set of signals from multiple tracks. It allows you to control the levels and effect of multiple tracks within a single submix track. In this example, I would have a project file that has four tracks, vocal, guitar one, guitar two, keyboard. And my purpose is to combine guitar one and guitar two so that I can apply one effect and have one set of controls for both the guitars. So I'll create create a track five, the guitar some next track. It is convenient. It allows one control or one track control for both of the guitar tracks. And it also saves CPU usage because I'm only applying one effect onto both of the guitar tracks instead of having individual effects onto the both of the guitar tracks. Now, Submix in Reaper is actually a little different than the other DAWs. In Reaper, um, there is no creating a new bus. And in order to create a new bus to route the individual track signal to the bus, in Reaper, it is simply creating a new track. And you can route the individual track signal to this new track. So first of all, we'll have to open a new multiple track file. In this example, you can see four tracks in my multi-track file. Track two and track three are both guitar tracks, guitar body and guitar neck. So our objective is to add chorus effect to both of these tracks. In order to do that, we will have to click on the blank area, which in the screenshot, I've already clicked on the blank area below track four, and that creates a new track. Here, I name my track guitar submix, I select a custom color for this track, which is green, and you would also see the same track appearing in the mastering panel. Next, we would like to route both of the guitar body and the guitar neck track into the newly created guitar submix track. In order to do this, we want to click on the input output buttons in both of the guitar body and guitar neck track. After clicking the input output button, you will see a window popping up that says routing for track to guitar body. In the Send section, you'll see a pull-down menu, and you have to select five, Track 5 Guitar Submix. In the Send section, you would see Post Fader, Pre Fader, and Pre FX options. And there's also an Automation and Record button. Um, these are options that are um, beyond the scope of this lesson. But for now, it is important to note that for effects, you have to use the default Post Fader options, at least for these combining these two tracks into the submix track. After this step, remember to right click on the input output button for on both guitar body and guitar neck track and turn off master send because we want to route the guitar body and guitar neck signals to the guitar submix track. And we don't want to duplicate the signal and route another copy of the signal to the master send. Then we would like to click on the guitar submix input output to check that the guitar submix track is actually receiving the signals from both of the guitar body and the guitar neck track. You can see that in the receive section of the guitar submix track, there it's receiving from track two, guitar body, and it's also receiving from track three, guitar neck. Next, we want to add the actual chorus effect to these two guitar tracks that we are interested in. And we can actually just add the FX once in the guitar submix track. Click the FX button in the mastering panel in the guitar submix track and select JS Guitar Chorus. And you'll see a pop up menu that gives you controls over how um, the chorus effect. And in the mastering panel, you can also pen, fade, mute, or solo this particular track which would control both of your original guitar body and guitar neck track. So to summarize this lesson, Submix groups and reduces the number of tracks and controls. It also saves CPU usage because you are only applying effects to one track instead of applying effects individually to the individual tracks that you're interested in. This concludes the lesson. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch and review my assignment. I hope you had a great week three and a great learning experience with Coursera. 
happy learning and I hope to see you next week.